All right, now that we got this machine all set up to do flux core, we're gonna run some different beads. I'm gonna show you basically what it should sound like when you're running a good bead, what it should sound like if your wire speed is too high, and what it's gonna sound like if your volts are too high. And then we're gonna show you some close-ups as I weld to kind of show you uh, the difference. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So let's fire up this welder and let's show you that, the difference between those. So we'll turn the machine on. What I'm going to do is run a good bead. So for this material, it's 3 16 Shows that I need to be at uh, my volts about 7 and my wire speed uh, about uh, in between 6 and 7. So let's put my ground on. So this is what a good bead should sound like with flux core. You heard it, it just sounds nice and smooth. You could tell that the wire's just coming out really smooth. It's burning into the metal. Nice. Now I'm gonna turn <clears throat> I'm gonna turn my my amps down and I'm gonna turn my wire speed up. So this is what this is what it sound like sounds like when my wire speed is too high. Sounds pretty rough, huh? <laughs> so, wire speed high, uh, no penetration, it wasn't burning in whatsoever. My wire just kept hitting and it was just really choppy. We'll show you an up close here in a second. So that's what it sounds like when my, my uh, wire speed is too high. So now let's turn down my wire speed and turn my amps or my volts all the way up. And let's show you the difference there. cutters clean this end up okay volts volts uh, high wire speed low So you kind of heard that. You could tell it's burning pretty hot. When it hits, it burns in good, but the wire speed just isn't sufficient enough. So that's what it sounds like if your volts are really high and your wire speed is too low, that wire just kind of trickles out and, and doesn't do much. Kind of doing a little weave. Sounds like my wire speed might be a little, sl little fast, but overall it's running pretty darn smooth. So wire speed too high, my volts are too low. You can kind of see my wire just keeps popping not getting any penetration whatsoever and it's just pretty uncontrollable so my volts are super high but my wire speed is a little too low as well so this is where my volts are high my wire speed is low so the finished product this top bead here did a cursive C motion 
That was when my wire speed and volts were good. The second one here, this was when my wire speed was too high and my volts were low. So as you can see, there was zero penetration. It didn't burn in at all. And my wire speed it just kept popping and hitting. And then here, this is where my volts were too high and my wire speed too low. So when the wire hit, it burnt in. It actually burnt in. But overall, the wire speed wasn't coming out fast enough to make a good solid bead like that. So that's how a bead should look if your wire speed and volts are good. That's what it'll look like if your wire speed is too fast. And that's what it'll look like if your volts are too high and your wire speed too low.